Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. Let's go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for our Screw You Line sign today. This is the card of conflict. And the Five of Swords is here. Okay? But there's somebody watching. I don't know if you're like watching some sort of conflict happen between two people, Aquarius. If you're just on the outside looking in. It's kind of what it feels like here. I feel like you're not involving yourself in it, Aquarius. And I feel like you're deciding to go a different path. And I feel like you're deciding to create something here because we have you guys connecting with sun god Ra, which is helping you there's something you're going to be creating and um we have people coming and wanting to work with you is what it looks like aquarius we have people that are also on the same spiritual path as you that you're you're coming into contact with here we have temperance we have the goddess all set you're connecting with all right aquarius um but it feels like you're seeing what what your true path is in life here okay you're having psychic dream messages about it Aquarius temperance again we guys have you guys connecting with your guardian angel and there may be some things you're moving out of your life that are negative low vibrational it may be people that are negative or low vibrational here aquarius either way you're just removing it out of your life and you're moving on you're turning your back you're turning your back towards these two people aquarius or you're turning your back towards just the negativity the drama all that crap right you're turning your back towards it and you're looking at what else is out there you know you're looking at your future here you're you're looking at whatever you're trying to create and it feels like life's about to pick up for you life's about to move fast for you aquarius and you guys have a new money opportunity coming in again all right again it's coming in and there okay there could be somebody here that's wanting a higher level of commitment with you could be a sagittarius here uh this person is coming in okay we got the king of pentacles here too we got earth earth is taurus virgo or capricorn there may be an earth sign that's missing you wanting to be a part of your life again they either yeah they may view you as like the empress or the emperor here but once again you guys are moving forward towards your abundance here we have you guys connected with your venus sign aquarius king of wands some of you guys may have fire venus or earth venus or maybe somebody is approaching you that has those placements within their birth chart is what it feels like here um but it feels like there's something here you're deciding to take action towards in your life aquarius which is your abundance okay there's also somebody here rushing in wanting to speak to you aquarius maybe you're walking away from them because you don't want to speak to them so it feels like there's somebody from your past wanting to reappear back in your life again and I feel like you just don't want to talk to them. All right. Maybe they could be an earth sign. Maybe they could be a fire sign here. Once again, fire is Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, earth is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. But I feel like you don't want to talk to them because they cause a lot of anxiety in your life. And I feel like you just, you just don't want it. All right. So let's go over here. We got king. Of, yeah, we got more fire again. Fires, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, right? So let's see more. Yeah, I feel like you guys, you guys are moving on from that situation here. This person's trying to move forward with you, but I feel like you're not wanting to move forward with them because once again, they give you a lot of anxiety here, Aquarius, and you just don't want it, you know? There's somebody here rushing in, wanting to speak to you. Cherry, it could be a Cancer Zodiac sign. Um, yeah, it could be a Cancer Zodiac sign here. This is somebody here you've already had conflict with and walked away from before, though. You see, you have all these people here trying to reappear back in your life, and I feel like you know you've already you've already been there, done that with these people. Aquarius, King of Pentacles, once again, Earth. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But either way, you're walking away from all these people. Aquarius, you're moving on, and it feels like you're getting clarity on what it is you want to do in your life, on your path here. 
All right, instead of being indecisive here, you're about to have justice. All right, you may have justice for what some of these people have done to you, Aquarius, as well. Here, King of Cups. There's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, that may be wanting to come together with you in a romantic relationship here, wanting to commit to you. Uh, but I don't like the Seven of Cups with it. So there's a King of Cups approaching you, wanting to be in a committed relationship, but right next to it is the Seven of Cups. And I, I never really like the Seven of Cups in a romantic reading. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The problem here, Aquarius, is that this person is also juggling somebody from their past. So it's not really full commitment if they're also still involving themselves with somebody else. So at that point, it's, you know, this, this person's not worth it either. Okay? Like, they're pretending to be fully committed to you, but they're still stringing along somebody from their past. So it's just, like, I feel like you're better off just ignoring this person here. Because they're just also a waste of time. Okay? But let's see more. What do we have going on for Aquarius? Hermit, once again. Some of you guys could have Virgo in your birth chart here, but once again, you're moving forward towards abundance here, prosperity. Aquarius, more abundance and prosperity is about to come into your life, and it's about to surprise you. are about to be like, well, where did all this come from? Some of you guys are beginning the core as well here. Aquarius, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter here. But you're calling in what you desire. Okay, you're calling it in, Aquarius. We have you connect with the Earth Mother guy in here, but you're calling in what you desire, what you're passionate about here, all right, is what it feels like for you. Let's go over here to these cards. Let's see more. You guys are about to walk through the door of success here. And you're about to get everything you've you've been desiring. Everything that's part of your heart's desires, Aquarius. It is coming in. You've been praying for it. It is coming in for you. Okay? You're sitting here manifesting it. Manifesting your heart's desires. And once again, it's coming in as a surprise. Aquarius. The spirit world is working on a surprise for you here. Okay? Um, crows. We have you guys connecting with crows. Alright? So let's go over to the crows. Let's see more. Feels like you guys are focusing here on your work here, your career, your education, and you're sitting here manifesting. Once again, manifesting. You're maybe manifesting a move. Moving away here. Yeah, some of you guys be saving up to buy a home. Comment down below. You're saving up to buy a home, saving up to move here. There's somebody here doing this. But I feel like you're looking at, you know, opportunities that are coming in for you. Queen of Swords. Once again, Queen of Swords could be yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter. But it's like you're bringing in the change that you've been desiring. Aquarius, once again, bringing in your heart's desires. All right, and I feel like you know this is coming in, like you have this intuition that this is happening for you, and you're taking a leap of faith here towards these changes in your life, Aquarius, because I feel like you're tired of the struggles here, and you're, you're doing things in a different way. And you've also got love coming in again. There's somebody here coming towards you here. This is somebody from the past. You see, but I don't like that this person is also still toxic. There's somebody from your past that you already know to be toxic is trying to reappear back in your life. And guess what? They're still toxic, Aquarius. They still string other people along. This person is um, controlling and manipulative as well. Uh, for zodiac signs, I see potential Pisces here, potential Capricorn, but it doesn't really matter what zodiac sign it is because you already know who this person is by who you dealt with in the past that acted like this. But they're trying to reappear back in your life, trying to reconcile with you once again. Are they worth it? No. Okay? No. Aquarius, they're not. You guys have a new money opportunity coming in for you. Alright, once again, some of you guys be saving up to buy the home here. But overall, you're attracting in your heart's desires, Aquarius. And some of you guys can have new love coming in. But I feel like you're doing what you're passionate about here in King of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be doing, you know, something new within your career here. We have the dog as well. But some of you guys could also have somebody here coming your way. Uh, that could be a potential Sagittarius, potential Earth here too, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But we have you guys connected with your Guardian Angel here. We also have you connected with your Sun sign and your Moon sign here. Once again, heavy Sagittarius. Again, you can have a Sagittarius coming your way. 
But I also feel like you guys are setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you as well. Aquarius saying no more often. Chariot, once again, moving forward towards success and victory. The Emperor going to be achieving a lot in your business here, Aquarius. Achieving a lot within your career. Could be getting promoted. Growing your business here. Changing, shifting, going in a whole other different direction. And maybe kind of going into the hermit mode for a little bit here too, Aquarius. But overall, you're shifting towards a new beginning in your life here. And you're celebrating this new beginning here, Aquarius. You're celebrating being happy, okay? You're celebrating it. So let's go over here and let's see more for you. We have build, build your email list to nurture your audience by staying in touch. So you may be building your email list, Aquarius. All right, it says innovate. You're going to be innovating. You're going to be doing things in a new way. Is your business too generic? Highlight what you can give to your clients that no one else can. Frame your offers in a completely new way. So this is offering something that no other... You know, don't be generic over here. you gotta, you got to stand out. What's going to make you appeal to clients and customers that, you know, the competition isn't doing here, Aquarius? Set goals, okay? And it says, let your dreams be bigger than your fears. Get a beautiful planner that inspires you and write down your dreams and goals. Then promise yourself that you'll make them come true. So this is setting goals for, you know, writing it down because you writing it down is going to help it manifest. Aquarius here, master, we have... Master how you handle your thoughts and emotions on a daily basis as successful entrepreneurs. This is keeping your emotions in check here, Aquarius. All right, um, what did I want to do? I wanted to go over to these cards, I guess. Overall, you got truth and clarity about what it is you want to do. Queen of Wands. Some of you guys can have fire in your birth chart, fire is in your sea or Sagittarius, but I feel like you're getting justice in your life here. Maybe getting justice for how some people have treated you. Some of you guys be having good karma coming your way here as well. It feels like you've been working hard and you're about to have balance in your life. And you may be releasing some burdens here, Aquarius. And maybe there's a Scorpio coming your way that wants to have the happily ever after with you. Heavy Scorpio vibes here. Scorpio Sagittarius here. But this, I feel like this is somebody here that's obsessive about you. They're, they're wanting to be with you, Aquarius. And just you. Okay? Only you. Feels like you guys are releasing restrictions, you're releasing binds, and you're attracting in your heart's desires, Aquarius. Again, you're attracting it in. You've been desiring it, it's coming in. You're leaping towards a new beginning in your life, new, a new chapter of your life here. Because once again, it feels like you're tired of dealing with struggles. So you're doing things in a new way. And you're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want here. And you're celebrating this, Aquarius. And we have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance here. What I also see is that there's somebody from the past that was ignoring you before that's going to try to reappear back in your life once again. But it's just because they see you moving on, Aquarius, and they don't want you moving on. When you when they get you back, all right, they're going to go back to the same thing before. So, once again, are they worth it? No. No. There's a lover coming in that mirrors you. There's somebody here that's very similar to you as well, Aquarius. I uh, get twin flame type of vibes here, okay? That's not the past person, by the way. I feel like you're going after what you really want in your life here, Aquarius. Once again, there's somebody coming in that I feel like you're going to really like, really want here. Emperor. Maybe they could be an Aries here. Also potential Scorpio as well. Again, yeah, heavy Scorpio with the King of Cups and the Death card. Um, yeah, maybe maybe you're going to be meeting their family or something. Maybe you already know their family or whatever here. But either way, I feel like this, this is somebody here that wants to come together with you, Aquarius. Okay? They may be a boss here, they may be a manager or something like that, uh, but either way, this, this is somebody that is open to give and receive love here. Star. Star is yourself. The moon. We, guys, we have you also connected with your moon sign here. Some of you guys can have Earth moon. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Also, Aqu uh, some of you guys can have Aquarius moon here too. But it feels like you guys are focusing here on self-love, self-care. And we have the universe coming in wanting to work with you, wanting to bring you more of your desires, Aquarius, Queen of Wands. Some of you guys can have fire in your birth chart here too. But overall, yeah, look, there's somebody here you're walking away from. You're releasing once again because it's like they're a very toxic person. So you're letting go of it, you know? You're letting go of it. And you're getting everything you've been wishing for when you walk away from them, Aquarius. Uh, if you've been having a hard time sleeping at night, it's because there's a spirit trying to reach out to you. 
Aquarius. We have Aeolus you're connecting with. So it feels like you guys are going to be stepping into a position of power and authority here, maybe getting promoted, being the boss here or something. But you're using this power and authority to help heal others around you, of course, or just help others around you. You have your family. Maybe somebody in your family could be getting promoted as well. You're going to be making a lot more money is what I see for you, Aquarius. And um, I feel like you're releasing other people's burdens here. And you're about to have justice in your life here, Aquarius. Once again, justice. Justice for um, maybe some pain that people have tried to inflict upon you. There's going to be justice for all that here is what I feel like. And you guys are moving forward towards prosperity and abundance once again. Okay, and you're transforming. All right? So, that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also go find more content on my website too. All right, so bye guys.